guys, good morning, what's up? I'm a little hoarse. Uh, my voice is still a bit heavy, um, but that is that is not what I'm here for. Um, today is Global Big Day, and I am, fortunately, I'm in the Irokrama Forest. Um, I'm with some, some researchers, and um, doing a little bit of birding uh, on the Bushmasters Trail. Some of the things I'll be looking forward to seeing here is Rufus Wing Grand Cuckoo. Um, this is the trail where there is a Capuchin Bird's Lake. I'll take you to that spot. If I can put one in my scope, I'll do that. Um, if not, I will let you guys, those of who have never heard the sound of the Capuchin Bird, I will do a little recording for you guys. So, happy birding, uh, global big day. Let's go. It's a beautiful forest. Uh, this is a predominantly Mora forest, Mora excelsa. You can hear the capuchin birds in the background here. So you got a lot of all the mammals here, like the Cayenne red howler monkeys, the spider monkeys. Um, get a few peccaries coming through here, even jaguars and other cats that they would have uh, recorded passing the camera traps. So this is a rich, very rich biodiverse rainforest full of life and it's one of the top birding spots in Guyana. So yeah, hopefully We'll see you guys in the next birding season. This is a rainy season now, um, and as and this will continue to listen to that. That was very cool. Uh, the, the leg here is very high. This one is up about, I'd say like 80 to 90 feet up in these moor trees. And they're usually here most of the year. Um, this was actually one of my best views of these birds, you know, capuchin birds uh, and the leg because it's so high. It's, it's most times difficult to see them or put the scope you know, get to enjoy those views for that long. So that was awesome. But back to birding. So, global big day and birding continues at Iokrama. And we've got these Guyana red howler monkeys that I was talking about earlier. You can hear them. somewhere on the top here, somewhere up there.
Royal Cromwell Forest. You know, we just came out after lunch. A little bit on the road, but yeah. As it's a rainy season, it's extremely quiet. Uh, it's been raining for most of the day. But yeah, it's still nice to come out and see a few things. Uh, we're gonna head back towards the Kurpakari crossing. We're actually gonna go across. We're gonna park on this side, go across on the other side and bird that white sand forest there for a bit. Uh, we're gonna bird that white sand forest for a bit, Campina Trush and um, Pale Bellied Mourner, Black Mannequin and things like red shoulder tanager as well and of course there's other stuff that we tend to see on that side so yeah birding continues global big day keep submitting your list guys and enjoy So we kept getting interrupted by rain all afternoon. It is now 5.22 p.m. And our global big day looks like it's a wrap. It's gonna be a wrap. Look at this. It's gonna be a wrap, guys. Um, I would say if I was to rate today, I would say it's a 4 out of 10. Um, less than 50%. Um, but yeah, it's, it's, that's all part of nature, man. Um, you don't always get 100% out of nature, right? There's always something. Either the sun is too hot, you know, it's raining too much like today obviously it's a rainy season so can't do too much about that um, some of the roads and trails are already are already flooded out the Essequibo river is super high um, and what well, this is what like that I believe today is the 12th today is the 12th yeah and it's already super coming down it's already crazy so yeah just coming back to my room and we're gonna wrap up today I'm gonna wait and see what songs we can pick up tonight um, we made that ladder tail night jar and some other night birds so yeah we'll see Thank you. 